Sally Nugent, 50, finds doing TV much easier than finding something to watch on it. In a candid interview, she admitted that it's difficult to find something on TV that her whole family want to watch together, which may sound familiar to a lot of families pretty much everywhere. Speaking to Radio Times, the BBC Breakfast star revealed she found during lockdown it was easier to navigate their TV routine but now things are returning to normal, it's back to the battle for the remote. My sofa is in my kitchen diner and there's a giant flat screen TV on the wall, she explained. It's tricky to get something that my husband, my 13-year-old son and I want to watch. During lockdown, we all got hooked on somebody feed Phil on Netflix, but it'll come as no surprise that I'm a news junkie. She added, if you know what the headlines are before you go to bed, there's less to catch up on the next morning. Sally, who has kept her family life very private and out of the spotlight, also confessed what she and her family watch on TV in the evenings is really important to her due to her rigid schedule. I'm really selective as my life is so busy and my evenings so precious, she told the publication. I never watch anything remotely spooky because I'll never sleep. No horror whatsoever, not in a million years. Recent months saw Sally move over to a more regular slot alongside Dan Walker on the BBC show, after Louise Minchin bid farewell to the red sofa for the last time. But before she left, she offered some tips to her replacement, which Sally was very grateful for. When Louise was on the sofa and I was doing the sport, we always helped each other out, she said. We've been friends for years. The advice we've shared has mainly been tips and tricks relating to sleep, food and exercise, all of which are so important when you do shift work. To be in up in time for that early rise means that Sally goes to bed at around 9. 30 p.m., although if I'm being really rebellious, I'll stay up and watch news night, she joked. She is briefed on the phone by the night editor before she goes to sleep, ready to be woken up at 3. 40 a.m. and ready to leave the house around 4. 10 a.m. The routine, she describes, is planned like a military operation, but she's taken to it like a natural. As a sports reporter, Sally said she really enjoyed telling people's stories, which is the job of the main anchors on the red sofa. We want to tell stories that engage people and perhaps even make them a little bit late catching the bus to work, she gushed. Dan and I have known each other for almost 20 years now, we both started out in regional telly. He is the perfect colleague because he knows when to talk, when to listen and when to laugh. Live TV isn't scary, it's the best fun in the world, and I trust Dan completely. Sally's full interview is available to read now in Radio Times.